Hey YouTube, it's your girl Danny B and today I'm going to do um, a heat, I mean, well, a heat protecting style, but it's also uh, for the summer so that I don't have to keep um, pressing or oh, flat out of my hair in the summertime because it's not going to stay because my hair is not relaxed and it will just, all of a sudden my hair will get nappy. So I'm going to do cornrows. And the first thing, let's see, I washed my hair last night and blow dried it. You just comb this out. Okay. And I washed my hair with cream of nature and deep condition with the cream of nature condition. And the hair I'm going to be using is Tasha Braid. Now, to be honest with you guys, I, um, I've never used this brand of hair before. I use either black and gold or Rastafari, but um, I'm, they don't have that on here. And I'm from LA, so they have like almost any kind of hair you can think of. So I was in there just looking, looking, looking. And the black and gold that I did find, it was like a blondish color and stuff. So, and the other colors are like mixed, with like burgundy and black. So I'm like, you know what? I got this in a 1B and it's the Super Jumbo Braid. And I got about six of them because the way I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my hair in four rows, but they're all gonna be going straight back. The front row is not gonna be going straight, straight back, but it's gonna be going like at an angle or whatnot, but it's still gonna be straight back. And I, do, I don't cut the hair, so they're gonna be almost to my butt. Um, and I'm gonna do the first layer and then come back and show you guys what that looks like. And then, I'll probably talk you guys through one of the braids in the middle so that it'll be a little higher and you guys can see it. Um, I do braid my own hair. It is very difficult if you do not know how to braid. But um, I also don't use a mirror while I'm doing the back. So people are always like, how the heck are your parts that straight and you don't use a mirror? I don't know. I just feel stuff. And that's why I have short nails on right now because I have to feel the parts and stuff like that. But I do two small, uh, well, I like two small rows, and then I do a larger row, and then I finish off the the top row. But they all fall to the back. Okay, so I'm finally done with my braids. Um, this is the finished look. And they are very long. They go all the way down to my butt. But, okay. Um, I could not dip my hair on camera because I didn't have big enough cup that um, can withstand the heat from the hot water. So I just went on ahead and parted the braids down the middle on each side and I dipped each side into the hot water and patted it dry as it came out with the towel. Now it's safer to use a cup, especially like if, when you're doing your own hair or whatnot. And to use a cup, all you do, you take smaller pieces, depending on the size of the cup, you fill it with hot water and you dunk the braids in there. And you put them all in there so they all fit, yada, yada, yada. Then you dunk them and always have a towel on hand so you can pat them dry after you're done. Um, another thing before I completely finish, uh, just to get the little loose hairs off the end of the braids after you dip them. You could do this before you dip them too, but doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do them afterwards so you guys can see. I'm just chopping off any 
straggly pieces of hair and stuff like that. I'm not really cutting their length or anything because I don't want that blunt look. Okay, now I want you guys to actually see how long these braids are. <laughs> so let me see if you guys can see in the mirror. This is how long my braids are. And I really, 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 really like them. And now, last but not least, when I wrap these braids, I really just wrap the top part of them. And for the edges, you can slick a little, you know, just anything that you prefer. Um, I have Weave Aid, uh, Straight Edge, and sometimes I also use Avanti. But I already put a little bit of this on. And then, just for the shine, we're going to add a little bit of the Apple G. What's this thing? Just a little bit, not too much. And I take my silk scarf, like usual. And just wrap it up. Now with these braids, with fringe braids, you really just have to wrap up the top part of your hair. And because, oh wait, yeah, I forgot to show y'all. Now, I did add hair to the top braids, but I added them way in the back. And I know I was gonna do a braid showing you guys, but it's like, it got super, super late and it took me a long time to do my hair, probably because they're so long and I was like stopping and stuff like that, so I'm sorry, but. Um, all I did was I did a normal fringe braid and I just added the hair towards the back instead of doing it at the front. That's why they're so fat at the front. And they're more natural looking. Like, don't get me wrong, I know the length ain't natural nothing, but I'm just saying, as far as the braids go, they're more natural looking. So, put this on. down in the back just to make sure and take this and wrap it over here and then um because the the braids are so long they might get in your way while you're trying to sleep and stuff so you could put them in a ponytail if you want um i'm not going to put them in a ponytail tonight because i just dipped them and if i put any kind of pressure on the braids, whatever, they'll end up um, creasing and stuff, so I'm just going to leave them like that. They'll be fine. Or you can actually put them in a satin bonnet and do them like that. So, whichever you prefer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this is actually, I usually put my hair in French braids because I don't do it often. And when I do do it, it's usually during the summertime, just so I won't have to keep pressing my hair because it doesn't last as long. Um, again, no, my hair is not, um, permed or relaxed, so this is what I do to keep it up. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and thanks for watching. Bye.